Hello everyone and welcome to Lisa and Will's Halls. Today I have an all Dollar Tree Valentine DIY to share with you. So let's get right into this DIY. For this heart, I'm going to be using the Valentine decor piece from Dollar Tree. This one I picked up last week. I did pick up some last year. And the, I like this one a little better because you can just take this little jute rope piece out and replace it back in when you're done decorating it the way you would like. And Will had picked this up when he was shopping at Dollar Tree last year or the year before and this is a green briar product and it came two in a package and it's a leopard print so today i'm going to be using one of my favorite prints along with one of my favorite colors and this is the apple barrel cloudless color it's like a tiffany blue color and i'm going to be putting painting this that color and i've already cut me out a heart with my other leopard print piece here from dollar tree so now i'm going to paint the heart and i'm just going to pour my paint right onto the heart and um, start painting away i think this is going to turn out really pretty and when I get this painted, I'll be back. And this was the heart from last year. They had put the red ribbon in for the top last year. And I was showing you before, this is the one they put in this year. So now I'm gonna be taking this one outside and I'm going to spray paint it red. I hope you can see this, but I did take some scotch tape and I put four of them across. I want to leave some of the natural wood in and now I'm just going to spray paint this and now I'll let the first coat dry and then I'll come back and put another coat on when this is dry now I have my Tiffany blue paint dry, and now I'm going to be placing my leopard print heart on. And these, as I said, did come from Dollar Tree, and they have like a sticky backing on it. So I'm going to take the sticky backing off of this. It seems like it may not be too easy. We'll see. There we go. Yep, pretty easy. And then I'm just going to place my heart on top of the heart I painted. Oh, it's looking so cute. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to paint around my heart with my hot pink color or if I want to use some Valentine ribbon that I had purchased at Dollar Tree last year and they still have this this year and this is another one that I had purchased last year so I don't know I'm gonna look at it and see here so after looking at the ribbon I have decided that I would like it better if I paint around the border of the animal print so that's what I'm going to be doing now and now I have rethunk my diva pink and I think it would be better in the red as I did take my other one outside to spray paint red so I'm going to go with the red outline so now that I wasn't satisfied with how the ribbon would look on and I wasn't satisfied with the bright pink because I painting the other heart to go with this in the red, I'm going to be using red acrylic paint to paint my outline around my heart. And I'm just going to come as close to it without touching it and go around this. Just keep going all around it on the outside. And when I get that done, I will be back. And this is how it looks after I have it outlined. So I've outlined it one time with the paint and I'm gonna go back over it and clean my edges and get a little more paint on there. I think it's turning out really cute 
with my favorite colors. Now I'm just going around my black outline with my Waverly chalk paint and I'm just dipping my brush in and putting little dots on the outer edge. And I think this has turned out really pretty. And this is the heart that I took outside and spray painted red. And remember I had the scotch tape across it and I was gonna leave it the wood color, but it bled through. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out really pretty like this. And sometimes your mistakes can be really pretty. And now I'm just going to take my white chalk marker and I am going to go around this in the white. And I'm just gonna go all around like I did this one with the black chalk marker. I'm gonna go around and make the white outline of the heart. And when I get this done, I will be back to show you how it turns out. Now I have outlined the outer part of the heart with the chalk marker, the white chalk marker. And I also went and did a line across each of my little areas here where I had had the masking tape previously. And I will go over this again. But while that dries, I'm going to open up the Color Your Own Ornaments. It's a five piece from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint these red. I'm just gonna be using my red acrylic paint that I used on my heart outline. And I'm just going to put it right onto here. And then I'm gonna paint these. And when I get these painted, I'll be back as well. Now I have all my Dollar Tree hearts painted. I like the way this one come out. I don't know if you can see it, but it had like dark in the wood because these are real wood. And I just think it's pretty the way it came out. So now I'm going to make a swag. So I need a base for my background to hold this. And I'm going to use this poster board that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut some of this out so I'll be able to place my hearts on it. And I cut a piece of the cardboard out and I probably will cut some more out so I won't be able to see it behind, but you could also use cardboard for this as well. Now I'm working on the placement on the poster board of how I want it to be arranged. So I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna cut out some of the white here and here and down at the bottom as well and a little at the top. Now I'm just looking at how I'm placing it onto the poster board. And I think this is how I would like it to be on the poster board. So now I'm just going to hot glue this on to the poster board. And once I have this hot glued on, I will return. I think I've been working on this for around a week. I work on it a little and I come back to it. This is the first swag I've ever made, or what I'm calling a swag. And so this is where I'm at now. And I have put a few little ribbons on it, little bows. And I'm just going to continue putting some more on. I've been making some bows with the Dollar Tree ribbon that I got. And also my Dollar Tree headband. And this Dollar Tree ribbon, the wired ribbon and also the burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be placing this around the outside and the top of the swag. When I get some more of this done, I'll come back and show you. I have cut a little bit of the poster board off and I have put one of my bows there and I'm going to hot glue it right onto the top of this, where this heart starts, onto the poster board to give it a little height there. And then right under that one, I'm going to hot glue down my leopard print hairband that I got from Dollar Tree. 
And some of my ribbons, I took the burlap with the heart ribbon on it and put it with this ribbon and I just rolled it in a circle and I'm gonna be sticking it out up under here. I already have this one down that's like that. And this is how my all Dollar Tree DIY turned out and I think it turned out absolutely cute. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I've came in closer so you can get a better view. This is the first time that I have ever done a swag wreath and I think I did okay, but I just love the animal print and the turquoise blue. I do think I should have got some turquoise blue ribbon to add to this and I may do that, but I didn't find any from Dollar Tree and this is an all Dollar Tree DIY. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.